everyone, we started with the procedural Rux tutorial in Blender. We can see we can get almost infinite results. In addition, the results can be very complex and aesthetically interesting. And that's not all, because the algorithms can be animated for the getting effects like the ones we are seeing. Of course, all 100% free and without using images. Let's start. The first thing we are going to do is to change the rendering engine to cycles. Then, if we have it, we change to the GPU and switch to experimental mode. Well, in the section of geometry, we change this value to 2, and thus we increase the detail of our rock. Now we select the lamp, and in the lighting option we turn to sun, activate the node and increase the power. Ok, we return to the cube and drag the subdivision surface modifier. We raise this value and apply it. We add this modifier again, but this time we activate this box and reduce the scale, as long as the graphics card has enough memory. We go to the material options, we put a diffuse shader, and we change the name. Rock generator may be fine. Nice. Now, let's go to Node Editor. At this moment is when we started to make our Node tree. The first step is to include the Bonoroid textures. Well, we press C and D and duplicate this. We extend this menu to work better. That's also important. Ok, we keep doubling up to 8. Nice. Later we add RGB Mix Node. Switch this factor to 1 and change the kind to difference. We duplicate again and one more. Ok. Now we continue to duplicate. Set aside this a little. But this time we change the class to add. Duplicate again and again. Well, we are still building, duplicate this, and we change it for mixed. Now we are going to add two mapping nodes. Another more, ok. We change these values to 1, we order them a little and we will include math node switch the kind to divide duplicate and here put 75 ok we go on double this again this value to 4 switch this to multiply ok perfect and then we duplicate until we reach 4 equal nodes. Now we start with the links. I recommend that you pay special attention. If you get running some, this system do not work properly.
Well, the first part of our length is finished. At this moment, we must group everything to continue building. Press B and select all. Group with Ctrl G and push Tab to exit. Ok. We change the name to the one of Bonoroid Generator. This is not yet completed. As we can see, we have to make the inputs and outputs. Press Tab again and we start making our inputs. Just connect them for create a new link. Ok, we change this name for Bonoroid Scale. Bonoroid Scale, ok. Well, and from now on we'll be repeating this step. Now we do the same but with the output. Nice. Well, uh, this is finished. Uh, we press tab again. At this moment I am going to show you a little how this section works. Ok, we put this better and we add a texture coordinate, generate link to vector and this to displacement then we're going to material settings and switch this for through ok, enlarge this section and smooth the surface let's go to render view and we can see the result of our Bonoroid generator these node trees are very complex, and I personally recommend another way of organizing the lengths. First, we go to the user preferences, and in the theme section, select node editor and change the carving of the length to zero. Ok, save the preferences. Now all well, this is straight, but it's still confusing, so we have to add three roots. This element will serve us to make everything much clearer. Personally, I prefer to always square corners, as an electronic circuit for example, because it's uh, very clean. Well, I will show you the result right away. At this point this node tree is finished. Let's see how it works inside. We select it and press Tab. Here we can find several subsystems, including the Boronoid generator that we had prepared. Well, as we can see, this is finished. And everything appears very clear with the reroute. Ok, we go out with the Tab. And we go into inside of the noise generator. This node tree is very important for create organic forms. It is more simple than Bonoroid system. We also have two small nodes here, the vector sheet generators, which will change the sheet allowing to have different rocks with the same parameters. Ok, let's go to the other. As you can see, it is identical to the previous one. You must pay attention to these factors. Ok. Well, now we go to the last one. The node tree of final value. This is crucial to calibrate everything and make the parameters are consistent with each other. 
Also, there are the empaths, each one with their name. This is very important for not to make mistake. Since a single difference in the order will generate other results. Well, nice. Okay. We have to make sure that the name of the input and output match each other. Well, we select the group input and press tab. Now we have our row generator and PBR to electric. This shader will be a diffuse, but this look better. Here there is the tutorial link. Now it is time to test our system. So we go to render view. Here in after we'll change this value to refresh the micro displacement. I guess this should not be so, but this feature is still experimental. As you can see, this is a standard Boronoi texture, without noise still. It is currently on a high value in the scale. We are going to down it, refresh as I said before. Well, the result is very different. We change the value to 0.3, for example, and we will get an intermediate result. But I think that the best value for make rocks is 0.1 or minor. Well, now we're going to see the Voronoi crack factor. This determines how big our faces are between the blocks. For example, if the value is small, the reef is small too. Nice. And if we increase this factor, the reef will grow and even the blocks will cross. Well, uh, switch this factor uh, to refresh. Okay, this is uh, our Bonnery rock. But to get something realistic, we need to add noise. For this, we raise this value to 1. Refresh this micro displacement okay looks cool we already have our first procedural rock well this node tree has many variables let's test the noise scale lower values usually give better results for example if I raise these values the rock that I get is too steep Yes, uh, as you can see, it's too steep. It's not inter it's not realistic rock again. Well, however, if I now decrease the noise mix value, the result may again be interesting. This outcome is also aesthetically realistic. I personally like to lower crack value because that way we get more pronounced riffs. For this effect, a uh, 0.4 is fit. Ok, um, finally we are going to increase the amount of displacement of our rock to make it more aggressive. Fine. Here we have something much less spherical. Well, this tutorial is already finished. As you know, there are infinite possibilities and I encourage you to experiment with the rock generator in your house. Thanks for watching and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you very much.